Hey, what's good, guys? It's your boy Fontek over here with another video. In this one, guys, I'm going to be comparing the iPhone 11 Pro Max with the iPhone XS Max here in a speed test. So, as always, guys, stay tuned. All right, guys, going to grow up both devices here. That's an iPhone XS Max and that's an iPhone 11 Pro Max here. Going to put them both up here. Apple look appeared first on the XS Max. I have to say that both phones are really heavy here really heavy but I definitely feel that the 11 Pro Max is actually a bit heavier around 250 grams you're crazy I mean with the with the case and all so really really it's a really heavy phone in hand especially if it falls on your face while you're in bed texting so actually the 10s Max was actually faster here uh, low booting up so guys both phones here have nothing in the background and they're connected to the same hotspot so 67% here on the left, 66% on the right on the tennis max. So both have great batteries. I mean, just gonna jump into settings in the beginning here, guys, and just show you that both phones have perfect battery. I mean, this phone has to have a perfect battery, but the tennis max as well. So both are 100%. So battery drainage has to be fully fair in this throughout this test. So leaving, gonna go for the weather app here. And that was faster than the 11 Pro Max. Phone dialer, identical, Safari, loading Apple Com here. And I was actually, okay, that was faster than 11 Pro Max. Gonna go for and learn more here. And that was, I think it was even faster on the Tennis Max. Both are very, very smooth here. Gonna go for the App Store. Okay, so 11 Pro Max was faster. Gonna go for clock they were both the same felt some start on 11 pro max but it was the same speed after all going for maps 11 pro max was slightly faster gonna go for itunes store that was definitely faster loading on 11 pro max leaving gonna go for some third-party apps here so gonna start with google earth that was identical. Both were super fast going for YouTube. 11 Pro Max was faster. Gonna go for Geekbench 5. Identical here. As you can see, this phone has a bit more RAM. Funny. Gonna go for PUBG Mobile. Last year's most popular game. So it seems like 11 Pro Max is a bit ahead here. Okay, yeah, definitely was a bit faster loading. But then the difference is like minimal, to be honest. Going now for Call of Duty Mobile. So yeah, definitely 11 Pro Max is slightly, a millisecond or so faster there, I feel it. But I mean, at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter much if at all actually so both are loading here okay yeah definitely so 11 pro max is a bit ahead here and 11 pro max is done loading and here comes the tennis max So we're just gonna hit on multiplayer here and I'm just hit start and play a random game and see which one will load faster. Okay, so uh, I don't know, this just, I don't think it's fair. This phone actually found a match immediately. We're just it's taking some time to find a match. Just shooting here. So yeah, definitely smooth in Tennis Max. as well as 11 Pro, so they're both really good. Leaving, gonna go for Asphalt 9. So, loading screen appeared first in the Tennis Max here, but I think the 11 Pro Max has to catch up. Makes sense, because the phone is like, should be faster. Yep, it was at the end. It's definitely 11 Pro Max was faster, gonna hit on play, or. Okay, 
can just see which one will load this faster. Okay, seems like the 11 Pro Max was faster. The difference though was minimal. I mean, it seems like the 10s Max did catch up at the end. Definitely both phones are really smooth here, rendering the graphics, really sick performance. Even the 10s Max is really good here. So both phones are actually solid. Perfect performance, leaving, going for Snapchat. Both were identical to be honest. So both phones here were really solid loading all the apps. Difference was minimal. Okay, of course, 11 Pro Max has to be faster after all. Gonna go now for some RAM management, guys. Gonna start with Snapchat, Asphalt 9, Call of Duty, PUBG Mobile, Geekbench 5, YouTube, Google Earth, iTunes, Maps, Clock, App Store, Safari, Phone, Weather App, Finally Settings. Both phones were really solid throughout RAM management. I mean, they have the same RAM. Now I'm just gonna go for a Geekbench 5 test here. So run benchmarks. So yeah, I just wanna say that the 11 Pro Max just finished and the 10s Max is still um, running the test, so I want to say definitely the processor on the 10, 11 Pro Max is better. And I want to say, guys, so throughout the test, this phone was at 67, lost 4%. This phone was at 66, lost 5%. So, so the 10s Max did lose more battery. And as you can see, guys, single cord, they're almost the same. Multi cord, there is a big difference here. So Okay, the scores are lower now than what we used to have on Geekbench 4. But yeah, definitely 11 Pro Max is sick here. A thousand difference in multi-core. So the main difference here between the Tennis Max and 11 Pro Max is the multi-core, single core is almost the same. All right, guys, there you have it. So that was a comparison. I would say that the Tennis Max is just slightly, slightly slower than 11 Pro Max. The difference is minimal, really. In terms of battery, it lost like 1% or 2% more than the 11 Pro Max. So battery at the end of the day will be like 10 percent more if you're a heavy player or something so if you prefer the battery definitely go for the pro max plus the display is definitely better there so i hope you guys like the video subscribe for more content and peace out